Bonjour! Coming up in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make these classic French macarons. So keep watching to find out how I made them. Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue à All About Aoife. Hello everybody and welcome back to All About Aoife. So I'm feeling very French today because I am making the classic French treat which is of course the macaroon. So I kind of have a love-hate relationship with macaroons. Sometimes they really work for me and sometimes they don't turn out too great. They are a tricky dessert to make but that's kind of the fun of baking, you know, trial and error, experimenting, trying new things. I didn't become good at baking overnight, I just used to try out different things loads of different times and see if they worked out try different recipes and that's what I've done with these macaroons I've tried a couple of different recipes and I've finally come up with the one that's working for me so I wanted to share with you guys at home so you can make a macaroons too because they are really impressive and they taste amazing no matter what they look like when they come out of the oven so today I'm going to be making love heart macaroons because I think they are just a little bit different than the normal round shaped macaroons they're so pretty and I'm going to make them in the lovely colors that is pink, it's my favourite colour and they're going to look perfect with the love heart shape. I'm then going to finish them off with some kind of edible glitter that I'm going to make into a paste so that it can paint on top of the macaroons. I'm going to do a little love hearts, I'm going to do an A for all about Aoife and then I'm going to finish them off with some buttercream icing in the middle. It's going to taste so amazing. So let's get started on the macarons. You will need two egg whites. I have one quarter cup of caster sugar ready to add into my egg whites. And in this bowl here, I have one cup of icing sugar and three quarters of a cup of almond flour or ground almonds just sifted into the bowl here and I'm just gonna whisk it together. So to begin, I'm gonna whisk up my egg whites with my caster sugar. I'm then gonna add my almond flour and my icing sugar, which is also sifted half at a time to the egg whites. I'm gonna mix them quite slowly, just gently folding them in as I go. I'm gonna scrape some of the air bubbles out along the side and any little lumps that you might see. I'm then gonna add the second half of the mixture and this time you wanna kind of keep an eye on it and make sure you're getting the right texture for the macarons. So you'll know it's right when it kind of drops off the spatula in a ribboning effect and it kind of gently disappears back into the mixture. You don't wanna over mix it because then your macarons will be too sloppy and you don't wanna under mix it either because they can be too lumpy. So just keep an eye at that second stage when you add the second half of the mixture in. some love heart stencils and I'm gonna place them under my baking paper when I'm ready to pipe my macaroons. So I am just simply gonna follow the template, pipe some lovely love heart macaroons and I'm then gonna leave them to set in the kitchen for about an hour until they form kind of a little skin on top. In the meantime, I'll have the oven preheating to 170 degrees Celsius ready for them to go in. And when they go into the oven, they're gonna take about 13 minutes to cook. And you'll know they're done when they're a little bit hard and they're not wobbling at the bottom anymore and you'll be able to peel them off the parchment paper very easily.
to my buttercream frosting while the macaroons are in the oven really easily. I'm just going to add my sifted icing sugar to my softened butter, which is of course unsalted. I'm going to add my little bit of milk. I'm just going to whisk it up until I get the correct consistency. I'm then going to add my whitening to get that lovely kind of white icing colour. And then I'm going to add it to my piping bag ready to pipe on top of our macaroons. For our buttercream frosting I have just weighed out 80 grams of icing sugar and I've sifted it and I have 45 grams of butter here that's been softened down. This is unsalted butter so I'm just going to add my icing sugar to the butter and then I'm going to add a tablespoon of milk a half at a time until I have the perfect consistency. golden glitter paste what I'm going to do is add a tiny drop of vodka like literally like a teardrop size drop of vodka to my golden glitter and mix it up to form a paste now if you don't have access to vodka or you're not old enough to drink then please make sure to ask permission before you go near the vodka and it's just going to need a tiny tiny drop a very small amount mix it up and then I'm ready to paint on top of my macaroons as I said I'm going to do the love heart shape and A for Aoife and then I am ready to put my buttercream frosting on top of my macaroons and they're going to be finished I can't wait to taste them. I could see them in any French patisserie. I think they look really great. I think the pink color, you know, it's kind of a classic color for the macaroons. And the golden detail on the top just adds that extra element of glam. I think they're very fashion forward macaroons and perfect because it is Paris Fashion Week at the moment. So I cannot wait to tuck in and try one. They're gonna be so nice. Although they aren't perfectly even on the top, as I said, macaroons don't always work out, but they're still gonna taste absolutely amazing. So if you guys have enjoyed watching this baking tutorial today, then please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Don't forget to check out my other videos, and thanks for watching All About Aoife. Au revoir.